everybody. This is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to the Armor Bear Awakening. I pray today just God's blessing just be all over you. This is a day God made and he made it just for you. So start thanking him and praising him. If you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and subscribe. Send it out to others. Do that for me. Uh, just send it out at least the link to one or two people that you know need to be listening to this broadcast. When I do Armor Bear conferences uh, around the country, I always ask, how many of you know someone that should have been here? Every hand goes up. And so you know people that need to be tuning into this. And so I encourage you to do so. Then also go to godsarmorbear.com if you feel in your heart you'd like to uh, contact me and what we do in our mentoring program. I call you twice a week, uh, excuse me, twice a month. And I visit with you. I talk to you. I will mentor, encourage you, help you to be the kind of armor bearer and minister you're supposed to be in the local church. So I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I am teaching on the book. It's called God's Armor Bearer Devotional. You can get these from Destiny Image or you can go online. I do not have these in my book, in my own personal a library here that I sell the books so you can get them online though. But this is a daily devotional and I've been talking about maintaining the right attitudes. And I want, I want to tell you why attitudes are so important in our hearts. Listen to this. The enemy seeks to divide and conquer. He knows that where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. James chapter 3, verse 16. He knows that we're envy and strife. You know, and in the in the local church, oh my gosh. And this is why I'm talking to the, the armor bearers, especially those who are working in your local church. You are involved in the nursery. You're involved in cleaning. You're involved in the parking lot. You're involved in the structure, the ushers, everything That has to do with the local church. This goes especially to us. You gotta nip the strife in the bud. You cannot sit back and, and get into a fight with a nursery worker or someone or there's contention among the team because that releases a spirit in that body. And it is a divisive spirit. It is a a serpent spirit. It's of the devil. And, and where the, and the Bible makes it clear <clears throat> when there's strife and contention, evil begins to work. I went through, gosh, and I know every pastor has, but had a leadership team and gosh, man, I mean, every time I met, it was, I walked out depressed and beat up like this is unbelievable. The contention and the strife and this and that. And I, I did this a couple of times. I have walked in and I said, okay, there's too much strife in this, in this team. So as of today, this team is no more. And I will, by the Holy Spirit, my wife and I are going to pray and we'll bring a team of people back together because Oh my God, goodness, it was fighting over just the brochures, handing it out uh, to the people, whether we were going to use a bookmark or a brochure. And, and you just think that was the uh, most evil thing on the planet. It's just people, people, sometimes in my heart, I have to be honest, I just have to shake my head and go, Lord, is there any hope for these people? Because their emotions are, uh, are they wear them on their head. They wear their attitudes in their brain. And it's all about me. And it's about my stuff. And it's about how this affects me. And that's a spirit of selfishness. And it's a spirit of division. And, and the Bible is really plain. It is true. Throw out the, throw out the divider and the contention will cease. And that's exactly what ends up happening. You just have to ask these people, you know, go be a blessing somewhere else because this is causing nothing but strife and contention. And so if you cannot flow under the anointing and under that house vision, quit speaking against it. Dear Lord, don't say anything. You know, I remember years ago, and I I thank God for my parents. They weren't pastors. They were business people. 
But they said to me years ago, don't ever say or speak against your leader. You gotta, you gotta love them and you gotta pray for them and you gotta protect them. And if you disagree, just keep your mouth shut. And if it comes to the point that you cannot serve in that church, then go find another one. But do not be a person that walks out talking and speaking against, uh, people. I mean, they made that perfectly clear and they were right. So we have to judge our hearts. It is impossible, listen to this, for the spiritual leaders in the church or ministry to reach its full potential if the attitudes, uh, wrong attitudes are present in those who lead, especially if they're present in the one who's called to support as an armor bearer. Choose today to rid yourself of any ungodly attitudes in their place. Adopt the attitudes that are holy and good. Clothe yourself with this new nature. Ephesians 4.23, here's the scripture. Now you're, this is out of the living Bible. Bible. Uh, now your attitudes and your thoughts must be constantly changing for the better. Always for the better. Yes, you must be a new and different person, holy and good. Clothe yourself with a new nature. You have to recognize that the enemy is out to destroy the ministry that you are called to support. You have to recognize your enemy. You have to break it down. Refuse to be used by the enemy by confessing, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, your attitudes. I mean, the way you break the enemy is you confess your wrong attitudes. Go to your leader and sit down and talk to him if you need to. Then meditate on James 3, 13 through 18. Commit yourself to walk in the wisdom of God, which is pure, peaceable, full of good fruits, impartial, without hypocrisy. And there you go. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everyone. I pray for our attitudes. I pray for our hearts. In the name of Jesus, and I break the power of Satan in the name of Jesus. And I release the spirit of peace and grace. God bless you. You have a wonderful day.